Now we're ready to, we're sneaking in between the raindrops here, snow drops or whatever. Hopefully we're gonna get this first coat of silver on here. What we did, we have two coats of primer. Each one has been sanded. And so we have a relatively nice smooth prime surface here. And I'd like to get this at least get the first coat of silver on and let it dry. And a wheel is such a complex thing to paint that if you don't have it on a wheel stand, boy, it really makes it difficult even when you have a wheel stand. And thanks to Pokey, we do. How else would you do this if you didn't have a wheel stick? It would be really difficult. Now this is silver paint that I mixed myself. I wanted a really nice bright silver when this is done. I don't know if I'm going to have it. Until we get the clear on it, we start to see the real color. Here is to get it from a lot of different angles. 
Notice I'm only doing one side at a time. I want to make sure I don't miss any spots. Now, here's what I want to show. Assuming that uh, it's not going to snow here for the next few minutes. I wanted to show how I put this paint on in many, many thin coats, but not to blow it on in one big wet coat. Just to put it on, and you can see how that's playing out. now. Because I have primer, you can see where I've sanded through the primer in a lot of spots. There's quite a high buildup of primer here, so I wanted to try to get a good bond between the silver paint. And I had the raw pigment here, which I mixed with the paint, and it's, this pretty much gave me a color that I'm happy with here so far. But again, this color is going to change for sure with the clear put on it. And you can see the conditions we're working under here. It really is. These really are battle conditions. But you know what? Once this first side tacks up, I'll get the other side painted. We'll have it down in the shop. And then I don't care if it snows. Because this has to sit overnight before we, well, minimum overnight, before we put the clear on. I think that's going to be real. When it's done, I think these are going to be real nice. I always really like the wheels on Joe's MV Agusta. And this is probably as, as close as I can get to that color.